All right, all right. What's up, people? Man, I want to talk about this thirty-six million dollar settlement from the uh, city and state of New York for the man wrongly convicted in the assassination of Malcolm X back in nineteen sixty-five at the Audubon uh, Auditorium, and it was a bunch of faulty, bigoted ass shit going on, and the investigation in this case and leading to these two men spending almost four to five decades of their lives inside a prison. And then now the just thing is being done. And then also with them having to deal with the wrong, wrongly placed stigmas on them as being the killers of one of the greatest uh, uh, rights, uh, uh, civil rights uh, leaders in Malcolm X in this movement. And that these folks was later exonerated. And like, I think it was in 2010, I believe they released for one of the guys um, and then another one, the, the guys end up passing away. The guy who stated that, um, he pulled the trigger and killed Malcolm X. He was released before both of these dudes. And this is the cold blooded thing. And they stated that they were home. They weren't even present. And the guy who, who, who was admitting to having committed the act was sentenced, which is Abdul, uh, Halim. And then he's released before them, decades before them, and then had uh, uh, his own, his freedom and shit. And that shit was not cool, man. And it goes back when you look back into this time and dig deeper into uh, these these stories and scenarios during this heightened uh, scale of bigotry within this country that was contested. And what the system hated was the, uh, um, was, was people standing up against this oppressive regime politically and locally through the law enforcement and every single other organizations. Like these were very strong black men back during that time, but that was a very, very foul act for brothers to go in there and gun down the great, uh, uh, great civil rights leader in Malcolm X. That was uh, uh, some cold blooded stuff, but not to where you put in these faulty investigations with corrupt ass New York police officers that locked away these dudes and corrupt prosecutors and corrupt judges. And then that the federal government wouldn't do their damn job in the looking into this investigation. As many, as well as many investigations currently, that the federal government is slow to move on and looking into investigating to see what the courts have done. If they're done, they work properly. Uh, but that's all I got, man. And correct congratulations to these two guys and they're in their later stages of life being there in their 80s and one of the other guys is dead. Um, but they will, and their families will, reap some of the benefits of their long incarceration. But that's all I got. Peace.